Hey everyone, Dabloon here, and today we're going to be doing another Monkey Meadow, and this time it's going to be Chimps. So I've walked you through alternate balloon rounds, let's see here. Walked you through alternate balloon rounds, I've walked you through Impoppable, I've walked you through Standard on a few other maps, so that one should be easy for you, and especially if you beat Impoppable, Standard should be no problem. Um, and today we're going to be doing Chimps. And if you guys haven't already, we'll do Magic Monkeys, Double H3 Mobs, and Half Cash after Chimps. But first we're going to be doing Chimps, and hopefully that's your last one as well, so you can get this infamous black ring around your level. You see we have one around Park Path and Monkey Meadow. I think we have one over here on these two. Um, you can either get a gold or black one once you finish all the maps. And I believe the difference between gold and black is that gold means that you paused your game or exited your game and then came back and continued save. And I think that'll get you a gold one. They want you just to beat it in one sitting, get through it. That's what we're going to do today. So hopefully with this strategy, you guys will be able to sit it in one and you'll have a black ring around your game. There you go. But before we start, please hit the subscribe button below. Really appreciate all the love and support so far. We're at 104 subscribers, which is really cool. I always like to say that because I never expected more than five. And I'm really excited about that. So please hit the subscribe below and let's get started. We're going to do chimps. And, you know, I've tested this with a few dozen monkeys, heroes, but... Oban, again, is the only one to use. Um, you guys can try it out. I've tried it with Patsy Futso, that big old buff guy, Donkey Kong. I've tried it with um, the little DJ guy that's, you know, spends some money on his records. And none of them just, none of them compared to our classic Oban. So, to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to put a ninja right here. But where we're going to put him is very crucial because you have to put him as far up as you can. Far up as you can. Right there. Reason being is that when we get our first upgrade ninja discipline, his you know his range increases and he's going to shoot up and now he's going to be able to hit three different levels. By three different levels, I mean he'll be able to hit that top top horizontal layer, middle horizontal, and bottom horizontal in one sitting, which is very very good considering it's early on he can hit all those places. It gives him a lot of chances to not make a mistake. So slow it down for those greens. We don't want those to get by. Um, slowing it down does help. I don't. Care what anybody else says. Uh, sometimes when you speed it up too fast, the game can't catch up with itself. I don't know why. I'm not a designer, but it does happen. So now you see how his little range is up there, and he's hitting them all up there, all down here, and he's just our little monster guy. So we're gonna give him a couple more upgrades, and then we're going to get our infamous OBYN. So uh, let's get that seeking shuriken. So those little extra. Shurukens don't waste their time. And then we'll skip that 380. And like I said, I've tried it with all, pretty much all the other heroes. I really don't like that purple hero. If someone is watching this and they know a good trick with the purple hero, I don't know her name, that's why. She's like a hex monkey. Um, I, she's just not working out for me. I've tried her, I try her, and all she does is just uh, not do what she's supposed to do for me. So, Which is pop a lot of balloons or help me out in some way. So I'm really not a fan. I like the um, big Donkey Kong guy because late, in early game he's terrible. But what he does is um, um, mid game, end game, he starts punching those Moabs back, which is really cool and really helpful. So before you know it, he's knocking all your Moabs back and saving you, saving you a lot of lives, really. So and we can't afford to even lose one in this one. So we're gonna put Oban right here, of course. Put him up high so we can get someone under him if we need to. And now he's going to do the rest of the work. Um, as you can see, it, that wouldn't matter. We have no monkey knowledge on it anyway, but it wouldn't matter on chimps because on chimps, you're not allowed to sell your towers. You're not allowed to use any monkey knowledge. You're not allowed to use banana farms, uh, instant guys down here in your bottom right corner, or any power-ups of any kind. It's, it's my favorite because you have to be good, honestly. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be able to play the game. There's no cheating. You can't buy your way out of this one with more money, anything like that. You're on your own and you need to know how to play the game. So it's really fun. Uh, only second to deflation being my second favorite, of course, because that one's really fun as well. But with chimps, um, you don't start off on level three with your heroes, so you gotta build them up. But levels move pretty quickly, so we're good. We already have our little brimble bush. 
and Oban's the best. I'm sorry, I'm tired with everybody. And Oban's the best. So, also I use the, um, so DJ Monkey, cool, right? He gives you extra money every round. But what he also does, which I didn't realize till after I was like, where's all my money? He turns, he hexes them or he hacks the Moabs and the balloons and makes them disappear. Instead of it popping full of balloons and causing a lot of problems, he just, uh, hang on guys, we need a tower here. Yeah, instead of just popping the balloons and giving you money, or popping the Moab and then having a bunch of balloons spill out, he makes them disappear, like instantly, right after you defeat the Moab, all the other balloons are gone. You're like, wow, that's really cool. It helps me defeat Moabs, but also you get a, you get zero dollars for it. So you think it's cool and it helps you, but you're actually not getting any money. So that extra money he gives you at the end of the round, I'm pretty sure is either evening out or being a deficit in regards to your money management because now he takes away it all. He makes everything worth zero. So I did not like that, now I don't use him. But we know for a fact that our man Oban over here will get that big ol' octopus slash tree and just throw oodles of bananas after us after he sucks in four or five Moabs. So he is a boss and look at him doing all the damage right now. We don't even need anybody else. Love this guy, man. Love him. So we're obviously going for a 3780 take down that Moab. Um, we're getting it pretty early on here too, which is nice. Usually we don't because we buy what three, four, five banana farms, but as you know, we cannot. So we're gonna do it this way. So I hope you guys watching. Um, I'm hoping you guys are able to follow this one pretty good. I'm hoping you guys have unlocked Open. If you've watched any of my videos, you should have unlocked him first and used him exclusively. But I mean, always feel free to use your own towers. But if you do and you like. You say, hey, I really don't like using the sniper for the Moabs, he's too boring, or he costs too much, I have this way. Please let me know, guys, because I myself do not personally, um, I follow a few people that play Bloons, obviously, like Super John Bomba and stuff like that, but I don't watch the videos to um, learn how to do it because I, I would rather teach you guys uh, fresh new strategies that I learned myself, so I try not to. Sometimes I'll have to, sometimes I'll have to look a few things up because some of those expert levels are just impossible for real not, not even on hard mode so i like to you know i need some help there and here but i like to not look it up as much because i want you guys to have a pure fresh strategy so i don't want everybody on youtube to be giving out the same videos you know we watch one guy and use his strategy everyone's gonna be using a strategy right and making videos on it so all mine are completely on my own fresh um i do not watch anybody else's before i make these videos so with that, if you guys have a really cool strategy, please let me know. If you think that purple that purple dude's actually really good, yeah, let me know. I want to know. I want to use him as well and I want to see how to use him correctly. So, any feedback, guys? Anything is cool. And just an update also, sorry, is um, I went through my old videos, right? And if you watch my video that has the most views, it's like 4,000 something. Um, I thought it was really cool, you know, I'm nerding out, like 4,000 people really watch my videos, like a small auditorium, that's so cool. But if you watch it, around two minutes or three minutes, someone nicely commented me and letting me know that I put my, I let myself stand up and walk around and go charge my phone in the middle of the video, like some, some I don't even know, what, what was I thinking, right? And so, she's, she, he or she wrote cringe on the bottom, I'm like, whoa, that is a cringe, what was I thinking? And obviously I knew nothing about editing. I only made BTD Battles videos and those were all after back to back. I didn't edit anything. I just played them. And so I made this video and I look and I'm like, are you kidding me? So today I actually went through and edited that out because I didn't know you can edit through YouTube personally because I didn't want to take it off because it has my most views. It gets me subscribers all the time. So it's the only thing really that got me subscribers. So thank you guys for watching that video. But if you want to go back and check it out again, I have updated. I have taken out that cringeworthy part and now it's just a normal cringeworthy video. Nothing like too cringy where you're just like, oh. it's a normal bad video. So obviously you gotta learn, you gotta start from somewhere and that was only like my 10th video or something and my first or second BTD uh, Towers video, most of them were just battles. So, oh man guys, it was embarrassing though, let me tell you. Um, I'm sure, pretty sure here that we're gonna be hitting a camo lead. <laughs> so what should we do? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I want to ride this one out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that we don't have a problem with. It. I don't know what level they come. I should know, right? 
I mean, I, I still even keep my info thing up, but I don't want to get anything. I just kind of want to let it be and get 35,000. I want to see if I can get Archmage like right off the bat because we're going to need him. He's a boss. So I'm hoping I can just jump right into him. But I always think that I'll have like 32,000 and boom, a bunch of fortifieds come out and I'm lost. So um, I think what we'll do here, slow it down, or bottles will slow it down. I'm going to get an alchemist right here. There we go. So now he's going to pump up our little mage for now. That's going to give us a few more rounds without having to worry about anything. Um, see how we're stopping the mobs before they even come out. So that's pretty cool. Before they get to our first line, I mean. Make sure to keep popping that brimble patch. Uh, very important. Sooner we're going to be getting that tree. I hope it comes sooner than later. I think it's level 10, right? Yeah, it should be. So we're going to have brimble patch or the octopus tree real soon here. And let me know if um, thumbs up or the comment below if you guys have upgraded your Oban or if you like the original instead. I like the water one because I personally love the water. So he looks like a little sea urchin dude and that's pretty cool to me. So I use him and I paid for it. So why not, right? I mean, I paid for it with monkey cash. I didn't use like real human cash to get it. I just played the game. But um, as you can see in my main mode or in the home screen, I really have, I have a decent amount of money. I don't really use it. I don't buy anything. Um, I guess I should, but I don't. I just upgrade my heroes. I'm a purist, guys. I just like to play the game how it is and just let it take it. I've always been that guy. I'll download an app, and I will never, ever, ever spend a dime on it. Whether it's Pokemon Go or Harry Potter or um, Clash of Clans, I just won't spend a dime. If I can't get there naturally, I don't get there at all. I'm just real weird about that. Um, if the game's really cool, like battles, obviously I'll buy the game. It's not like a cheap guy kind of thing. I just want to see if I can get there on my own. I don't like that you have to buy your way to get places. But a game like BTD, obviously, you got to pay for it to get all this amazing stuff without any ads. So, uh, Kiwi Ninja, you guys are awesome. I know you'll never watch this video, but if you were, you guys are awesome. And keep up the games. I've been playing Bloon since I was a little youngster. I'm sure you guys have all too. Um, have you guys ever played, like... Hang on, guys. I'm just making it, making sure we don't screw this up. Oh, shouldn't have placed that. Should have kept him where he's at. He didn't have any anything in him. If you go to reset him and you don't get any bananas, that means he got nothing. Of, he didn't get anything in him, and you just wasted him pretty much. So, uh, look it. We got seven thousand more to go before we can get Archmage and just dominate this game. And I, oh, I just have a feeling we're gonna get reamed right now. I have a really bad feeling. Um, we're not going to be able to get there without having to put down like a, what do you call like a chopper, a black hawk or whatever, Apache. So, hoping that's not the case. Okay. Reset now. There we go. You could technically just wait till he, uh, till he blows up to reset him, but I have had it happen, I'm not going to lie, where I'm waiting for him to reset, right? Or I'll go to press the reset right after he's taken away and he responds behind the balloons that are coming. So you literally are just on your own. You have nothing to beat the, the ones that already made it past the track or past your octopus. And you're just like, oh my gosh, are you serious right now? So, but honestly, guys, it looks like we're actually going to make it. It looks like we're going to make it to 35,000 without any problems. Uh, let me kick myself in the butt for that one. But this has actually been a really easy, easy go around. And you know why? It's because I've been practicing before I make this video because I want you guys to have the best video possible. I've been practicing with that dumb DJ, that dumb Donkey Kong, and I'm trying to show you guys a little something different, and there's just no reason to show you anything different. You know why? Because what I'm, what I'm using works. Oban is a boss. He's OP. He has... No one can beat him. I'm sorry, but he is just the best character. The best hero. Everyone else is just lame. The only thing he can't touch is camo, but he can touch camo with this little seashell brimble patch thing. So he is unstoppable. He is... Oban stoppable. Sorry I keep taking drinks guys, it's just real thirsty talking all this time. And I've tried to, f I filmed a couple of videos for you guys today and didn't like them so I deleted them. So, you know, I played and talked to myself for over 25 minutes and didn't like them. Um, I listened through it and I'm like, what was I talking about? Why would anybody even watch this? I sound like a jerk. And next thing you know, nothing happened. So I deleted it and wasted 30 minutes of my life. Twice today, so that's an hour of my life I wasted. So, hey, hopefully this one turns out right. Then you'll see it. If not, you'll never know. So, hey. So now, okay. 
Now we have Popping Power Galore. The only support tower we have is this homie over here. Everyone else is doing their job and tearing it up. Okay, so I, I would say maybe upgrade to full auto, but look it up here. So you have 52,000 pops by this monkey. And just in the Archmage, just being alive for a little bit, 148, 50,000. So there'd be zero reason to upgrade your new guy. He's doing all the work, of course. So now it's all about just getting more popping power because that purple guy is going to come out and do some harm to us. And we also want to make sure that purple guy can be handled once he's... How do I word that? So purple guy can't be hurt by anything, right? We already know that. He can't be slowed down with the with the bomb guy. He can't be slowed down with frozen abilities. He can't be slowed down with ninja slowdown abilities. So you're pretty much just, you know, at a loss with him. So, but we're making a lot of money here. So what do we do? What do we do? We could just go with the super monkey and that would be cool. I like the Apache personally. He's not as strong, but he follows him around. So if you consider the fact that like he's hitting him around the entire map compared to the Sun Monkey hitting him in certain areas, he probably pops out a little stronger. So um, let's see what we're gonna do. Here. Probably gonna throw him right here. First, I'm gonna put a tower down. Uh, you'll see why later. Probably right there. And then what we're gonna use to do this one, this one, this one. Okay, and the reason I did that is now I'm gonna put my chopper down. Don't worry about camo. Well, I guess I'm not gonna. Are you kidding me? What a waste. Hang on, guys. Oh, that was a waste too. Okay, so he's there, 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 and there. Oh, that's a real waste, guys. I think I messed up. I think I really messed that. Screwed the pooch, guys. Come on, come on. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Okay, cool. There we go. So, the reason what I was going through there is I wanted to have faster firing. I didn't want to use wasted on camo. So, sorry for the pause there. I was trying to make that work. So, now he is in the range. We're chilling. Um, because when you put it on not faster firing, you do get more, you get more damage that way. So, it's better, stronger, whatever you want to say. And he is touched by this thing, so he's faster, he has more range, or no, that has more range. He's faster, has more pierce, really can't beat it. So he's going to do a lot of damage. If we could get 48,000, that would be even better, because that thing is a monster. But we are going to need some more support towers here. So, okay, okay, okay. So we're going to do this right here. We're going to go... Larger Radius, Refreeze, Enhanced Freeze, Deep Freeze, Arctic Wind, Snowstorm. Now the reason we did that is because after we pop that Dreadful Purple, I'm hoping we pop him around that first that first circle. Probably not, but I hope we do. And if we pop around that first circle, what's going to happen? Let's put him closer. I want him closer. I don't like him around the end because he's your last defense. That's scary. You don't know his breaking point. Okay, so... Once we beat purple, hopefully quickly, and we tear up all his blooms inside with Archmage and our Apache, we're going to need something to slow him down the blooms I get through because Apache is not that reliable, really not. So Arctic Wind will immediately stop everything. It's an amazing support tower. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, normally I'd put up like a glue guy, right? And you know, I actually will, but not where you think I'd put him. Um, a little different here. I think we're gonna try some cool things here. So normally I'd put my, you know, the um, I'd put that boomerang monkey guy up front and the glue guy, but I don't want to because we're honestly at this point we're 88. We're just prepping for purple at this point, a big purple guy. So we don't want to put all our support towers up front because they're not gonna do anything to them. We want to make sure that after purple's popped, we can just get them, get the ZOMG out of the way, get the um, BFB out of the way, and so forth. So. <laughs> So I would like to get a bomb over here. Do I want a bomb though, or do I want to go for a P Apache Prime? Let's let's play by ear, guys. I'd rather just have more popping power and get this game out of the way. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shoot for 40,000, 48,000, sorry, on this Apache Prime. And if it doesn't allow us to go that far, like it starts getting real crazy, 
we're gonna throw down a bomb guy and do that kind of stuff just to make sure we're safe. But between Oban's totem, that's what's slowing those by the way, is Oban's totem. That thing's a monster too. So between his octopus, his brimble bush, his everything, he's just an insane monster. So please guys, don't use any other hero. I've tried them all, I've paid for them all. I've used all my monkey money that I've worked hard for getting and absolutely nothing. No, no enjoyment from any of them, but Oban, guys, so. And that octopus just eats these things alive. But as you can see, we're get, we still need 15 more thousand. I'm getting a little scared. So let's do this, slow it down a little bit. Just get a little bit slower. You get that money, get that money, get that money. So I don't know, guys, what do you guys think? Uh, I wish this was a live stream and said so I can have some help from you guys. I'm not the best, guys. I'm just trying. I just have a few good strategies and they tend to work and I think quick on my feet. But right now, I'm getting a little nervous. Okay, eight more thousand to go. Think we can get them? I think we can get Apache Prime. We got five more levels and eight more thousand dollars. So let's just keep on trucking, guys. This is real scary though. Let me tell you. Get that tree up. Get that tree up. Okay, cool. Octopus, octopus. Slow those down. There we go. Okay, they're moving a little too fast for me, a little too fast. See guys, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it, but as you can see, Arctic Wind down here, look what he's doing. He's slowing down every balloon that gets by. So we got a little bit close there, and as you can see, all those DDTs got right through the problem. So they're a little scary. So what I would recommend, <laughs> I don't know, honestly. So slow it down like this, and um, like I said, the balloons may fall a different way than they have for me, than for you. So if it gets a little too closer for you guys than it is for me right now, then obviously put down, I'd put down either like a glue gunner, but in the range of your camo detector, or um, that boomerang monkey to slow down these Moabs, or more popping power. But, you know, it worked out for us. We were able to do it. Now we have Apache Prime who's gonna do all of the work. So, um, that worked out. I hope it did for you guys too. And if it didn't, like I said, put down a support tower to slow them down a little bit to help you out and uh, do your best. I know I like to use mortars for taking off these fortifies, but sometimes you just don't need any of that junk. You just tear it up. So now that we have our power done, we're going to put as much as we can to slow these balloons down. Oh, that was a dumb move though. Sorry guys, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. So the problem I'm having is that I accidentally put him in the range of my alchemist without paying attention. So now my alchemist is wasting his juice on Archmage and the bomb, which the bomb doesn't need that. Not gonna happen. So um, that's good there. We got our tree, and oh, we're, oh shoot, we're there. I didn't even realize what was going on. Okay, so here's what I would recommend too. We are on the last level, right? So put down this guy. Go all the way here, and hopefully it regens in time. I oh, I didn't think about that. That was a noob move. It's not going to regen in time before he comes around. But um, what that does is it sabotage balloons is insane. It just slows the whole thing down. I learned about it in battles, use it all the time, and it just <laughs> cuts it in half, which you know ultimately means that you're doubling up your damage in the same amount of time. So, um, But I wouldn't use it now because I don't think anything affects the purple guy. He's kind of a jerk. So now we sabotage balloons, and this is going to be very, very, very easy. So. Um, we sabotage the balloons. Now we're good there. Let's slow them down even. Who cares? Slow them down. So that was simple, right? Whew. Another instant monkey, another victory, and hopefully after that little battle, you guys have your first black ring. And if you don't, like I said, we will do monkey. We will do magic monkeys. We will do double HP Moab, and we will do half cash. But just a heads up, magic monkeys is not only fun, but it's super easy. You're only forced to use magic, so not magic monkeys, but you're only forced to use like ninjas, magic monkeys, that little guy that throws thorns, alchemist. So it's, it's obviously simple. You're gonna use your mage and your, your little ninja monkey and go for it. Double H Moab, same stuff. It just comes out a little harder on those Moabs, but as long as a little prep, you're good. Half cash is tough, so we'll work on that. But um, for now, we did get there. Hopefully, you got your black first black ring. If you didn't, well, we'll keep working. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and please hit that subscribe button below. Um, even if you watched it for only 10 seconds, and the ending 10 seconds, and see what the final map looked like, I like to do that too, so you go to the very last few seconds, see what the final towers are, and you get there yourself. That's always fun. I um, mean, if that's all you did, please hit subscribe. 
Um, subscribing means that makes me just more happy and makes me want to make more videos because if I didn't have any subscribers I wouldn't make them because talking to myself for this long it makes me feel a little crazy. So please hit the like, please hit the subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.